Hey, what's up guys? Wanted to just show you how I keep my, uh, my business organized as far as customers, invoices, estimates, uh, expenses, yada yada, all that shebang in one software. And I'm using Yardbook. Yardbook is a free software that it's, uh, it's cloud-based, meaning that once, you know, you're not gonna store anything on your computer, which saves a lot of your uh, space from your computer. So if that makes any sense, hopefully that made sense. But anyways, um, for you guys that are starting out this season, this would be a perfect time to uh, get familiar with Yardbook. Like I said, they do have a paid uh, membership using Yardbook, which opens up a little bit more options. But just the basic free version, I mean, it's enough to, uh, to get you started. And what I like about it is like, of course, you have your customer database. You could uh, you do all your invoices through here, send your invoices. You have your uh, equipment with, you know, you could, you could store all of your equipment information with, with VIN numbers, models, and stuff like that. Um, let me see what else. You have a P&L or profit and loss sheet that you can also, uh, you can make with this software. That way at the end of the year, boom, you got everything there. Print it out, send it to your, to your CPA and whatnot, guys. But what I wanted to do is, uh, I guess I'll show you what, this is just a, uh, a demo screen, but I think, I think we can add some or make some cha changes to here. So here we go. Um, let's do the, the most simplest thing is add a potential customer, right? So this is the way I go about it. We could do, we could go up here to the right uh, hand corner and use a quick add and go to customer. We could add a job, a task, visit, estimate, invoice, payment. That's an, that's another cool thing guys is what I do now, I don't, I don't take any cash, I don't take any checks. All of my payments are gonna come through using Yardbook. And there's a link, what's cool about it is whenever I send an estimate, let's just say we're gonna do a tree job, it's gonna be $400 to do that job, right? So I'll send the estimate to my customer. They're able to look at the, uh, the price and also the scope of the work that's gonna take place. And if they decide to do the job, there's a button on there that they could approve it. So you'll get an email or you get a shot on your, um, an alert saying that, hey, they approved for, for that service right at that price. So from there, you could um, generate an invoice and get it ready and uh, also you know you email your customer from there and let them know hey we're going to be out there at this certain date whatever whatever i need half down or whatever or pay in full before we get there and they're able to make a payment using yardbook so in the invoice there's a link which they're able, able to click and pay the invoice off and um once it's paid off, it'll uh, show show in your in your invoices or your paid page that it's been paid. Um, but that's of course that's going deep into the software. I mean, there's just so much that you could do with Yardbook, and of course I'm not sponsored by Yardbook, but you know it's it's free, and it's just something to kind of help you guys that are starting out. Or if you're not, if you haven't used your book, try it out. I love it. Like I said, I've been using it for years and I love it. Haven't had any problems. Customer service is on point as well. So that's what I like about it. So let's just do something simple. Let's just add, let's just add a customer. So like I said, you can go to quick add, hit customer, and it'll take you to the same page as if you go over here on the left side and we could hit add and boom right there add new customer so it's pretty self-explanatory whenever you get an inquiry from a potential customer you want to make sure you get the name first last name email is important you got to get their email phone number is important of course obviously the address is, is important of the the property address that you're going to service so you know everything's just kind of kind of self-explanatory we'll just put marquee 
B, last name, email, I don't know, Marky B at, I don't know, Hotmail, is Hotmail still, dot com. Phone number, 555-555-5555. Boom. Business address, uh, business name. If it's a business, I will put the name. Usually, I just kind of leave that blank. Prospect, yes, this is a potential customer. Okay, so address, I don't know, it's just 303 Main Street. Let's see what pops up. Okay, yeah, 303 Main Street, Maywood, Illinois, United States. Boom. Okay, so you hit that there and it auto automatically plugs your city zip code. Man, so once I get it, we're going to save. Just kind of double check, make sure, okay, email, phone number, first and last name, yes, potential customer. Then we're going to go to save. So once it's saved, what I usually do is just kind of double check. Boom, boom, everything's good. Payment term, okay. And what's cool about this, let's just say you have 200 customers, right? You're able to do a, a uh, I don't know what you call it, just a, a bulk message and send it, blast it out to everybody all at once. If you, I don't know, let's just say uh, for that week, you're not going to mow because you're going out of town vacation. You're able to let all your customers know all at once with one email that you're not gonna you're not gonna service that week or whatever. Either way, okay, everything looks good here. <coughs> <coughs> here on the tags, let's just say if they're um, they're gonna be a, a a fertilizer customer, I would make a tag just I'll put fert fertilizer. Boom, and I got a tag there, and that'll be. Um, Something that will help you get organized when finding just your fertilizer customers. Uh, now I'll do another video on that. Let's just say another tag. It's going to be a weekly customer, right? Boom. That way I'll know it. they're going to be a weekly customer. Um, let's just say you have a specific area or a community, right? We'll just put um, we'll just put Rockwall community. Boom. So there it is. And you can add as many tags as you want and take out as many tags as you want too. So after doing that, everything looks good. We're not gonna create a job yet. An estimate, property. Okay. So what I like to do next is once I got the main information down is I like to come down to the properties and let's go ahead and uh, send them or give them an estimate. So in order to, the way I do it, is instead of going out to the property and measuring, I'll just measure right off of Google Maps. So here's the address. I'm gonna click on, I don't know what, what do you call this, but this marker right here. And boom. So we're here. Let me see, let me see. Well, <laughs> I guess that was, must be a bogus address, but either way, we'll just use one of the, we'll use this for now. So once we're at this page, what I do is when it's just mowing, and I have a video on this, um, on how to use Google Maps to measure your property. So what I would do, I would just measure the entire property so let, let, we'll go ahead and do it now I'm going to do it really fast I do have a video on how to do this um, that makes sense okay so this is 22,000 square foot so once I get that I come back to yard book lawn size or property size I think lawn size property size same thing so I'll go ahead and put it here 22,000 feet mulch quantity of course you'd have to go out there and measure uh, the mulch so let's just, let's just say I did go out there and measure the mulch and it, it was what I just say five yards 
so I know it's going to be in yards. So that five tells me it's in yards. Let's say the price for the for a cut um, for this property is going to be eighty-five dollars. Boom. So I got my lawn size, I got the mulch quantity, and I have the price for the cut. And this is just basic stuff. So billing, invoices, payments, no. Estimates, let's go ahead and make an estimate. You could do, you could uh, generate a, an estimate through here using this button or up here. So let's just, we'll just use this up here. <clears throat> so everything's kind of nice and organized and it looks real professional. Okay, so we got our estimate page or sheet here and it's all pretty simple. So you got your estimate number here, you got your date. So we're gonna go ahead and add an item. As you can see, this page shows up and it already has a price of that, of that property. So $85, that's the one we're gonna use. So we're gonna go ahead and highlight that grass cutting and of course you could change the the name the name of the service here like default it says it's it's called grass cutting you call it mowing you call it whatever so you got all the services that you you might have and all these you could change and of course you could change the price to uh to fit each property so we're just and, and that'll be a different video so let's go ahead and add item. So boom, there it is. Grass cutting. That's one. Price 85. Tax. Here we'll change the tax. For this one's gonna be 1.25. Boom. So there it is. So now we can see we've got one mo at $85. And then plus the tax. So here you got the subtotal, you got the tax, and the total amount. For that service is going to be 9201. So all of that looks good. Uh, payment term I usually do on receipt. I don't do any uh, delay payments or anything like that. The way, well, my payment policy, as you guys may know, is it's all prepaid. So you got to pay before we even show up to your property okay and they have to prepay for the month so they got four mows that month they pay for that four mows so for instance okay let, let's just say a typical month there's gonna be four weeks let's just do it so four boom I know that a certain let's just say the month of March is gonna be four months so the quantity is four eighty five tax total price is gonna be three hundred and forty so there it is, right here on, on the total amount is gonna be 368 and five cents as we tax and everything. So now that we have that, and this is before we even go out to the property, this is just an estimate. Uh, we can add comments, and these comments are going to be, um, they will be in the estimate, or they will be in the estimate page, and you can let them know this will, you could you could word it however you want. Sorry, this will be for the month of May. Okay, and save, and that will show up in their in their uh, estimate email. And also, let's just say if you're going to do a flower bed cleanup or mulch. You could go to detail description, hit that, and uh, you know, flower bed cleanup. I don't know. We'll just call it that. And then, of course, you could kind of detail it here in this this box. Save it. That way, they'll know the scope of the work or the the, the scope, yeah, of the work that you're going to do. So once this is generated, what I or filled out, I'll go to action up here on the right hand corner and I would send to customer. Now, I don't do any, I don't print, print out invoices or anything, everything's electronical. So you could either email it or you could text it, but because th this is just a demo 
demonstration uh, uh, page, it's not going to allow me to text the customer the the estimate page. So email it. Boom. We email it there. And then you'll see the customer's email, the subject, estimate. And now what I like usually to put is uh, grass cutting, I guess. We'll do that. Grass cutting service. And then I'll, if it's in May, we'll just put May May service, right? So it there's a, and you can modify the templates here. So you know this is hello market. Here's an estimate for the requested service. Please contact me. Yada 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 yada. Have any questions? Thanks. And your company name. And what we're gonna do? We just send it. And boom, it's sent. <clears throat> Now, we're gonna go back and look at the customer here. So this is the customer, Marky B. And if you just hover over over the uh, the envelope here, it'll say email sent, okay? Now, if the customer approves, you would get a notification right here that says approve. It would, I believe, I wanna say it's, it'll actually say approve here. So I don't know. Let me see what ad is. Let's just approve. We'll just approve it. So boom. You'll see the date when it was approved. And after that, then you could generate an invoice and send it and have it paid. So that's what I do. Let me see if we could go ahead and generate an invoice. So it's been approved by the customer. So we'll hit S, uh, estimate 1054. Once approved, we go back to action. And we're able to generate an invoice. So once we have the the invoice here, then uh, then we're able to just email it. We're able to email the invoice. So everything looks good. Price looks good. Total amount for the month of May. Okay. Good. So once we once we get here, we just send send to customer. Simple, boom. So we send it. We send the invoice to the customer. Everything looks good, and of course, the uh, email template is going to say something different. So here is your invoice for the previous month. Yada yada. You could put previous month or for the next month. And all of this can be modified. You can modify the email template. Here is the invoice for the following month, right? Following month, boom. And we send it. Easy, simple. And then, <coughs> excuse me. So that's the way to do it. And like I said, once you send that invoice, you could go into the email template Put your link in, in there as far as uh, how you're going to require payment, electronic payment. Um, Yardbook uses um, their own uh, uh, payment policy. I forgot who they go through. But also, you could, if you're using PayPal, you could put your PayPal link on there and boom, you'll get your payment like that. So once you get, as you can see, it says pending. So the payment, the invoice is pending. Once you get a payment, this will uh it'll turn green and it'll say paid so and that'll go straight into your bank or straight into whatever uh you know a bank i guess right I'll be using a bank and there it is guys it's that simple um so there it is if you guys have any questions on uh any other uh functions on using yard books y'all let me know in the comments below like i said i've been using this for years i'm i'm i'm, I'm actually using the paid version it's not it's not it's not too expensive guys but also the the free version of yard book man it, it's it's pretty cool i mean it's easy it'll it'll definitely get you started on your business it keeps everything tracked keeps your your scheduling uh in order payments uh in order estimates invoices whatever guys i mean there's just so much that you could do with yardbook and it's always getting getting better and better hopefully you guys enjoyed that 
I'll see you on the next video.